Compared with Honor 10, the battery of Honor 20 uses battery package film. Therefore, it can be removed without heated beforehand. Remove the battery before replacing the side button FPC and fingerprint sensor. The battery of Honor 10 is attached using adhesive. Therefore, it is more difficult to get removed. The front fingerprint sensor of Honor 10 cannot be replaced separately. Use different methods to disassemble these two models. Prepare the required tools. Power off the phone. Use the eject pin to remove the SIM card tray. Attach a piece of process protective film to the TP. Place the phone on the heating platform with the rear cover facing down. Heat the phone at 65 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius for 3 to 5 minutes. Fix both ends of the phone on the phone disassembly fixture with the TP facing down. Attach the vacuum cup to the lower part of the rear cover. Pull up the rear cover to open the gap. Insert the opening pick in the gap. Swipe it along the edges to separate the rear cover. Take out the phone. Attach dust-resistant foams to the rear cameras. Pull up and remove the adhesive from the rear cover edges. Use lint-free cloth dipped in alcohol to remove the residual adhesive. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the 19 screws from the PCBA support. Swipe the opening pick along the edges to separate the support. Remove the support. Remove the adhesive from the front cover assembly. Use the B2B connector removal tool to remove the battery B2B connector, main FPC B2B connector, LCD B2B connector, fingerprint sensor FPC B2B connector, rear camera B2B connectors. Front camera B2B connector. Remove the front camera and rear cameras. Attach a piece of foam to the front camera. Use plastic tweezers to remove the coaxial cable. Use plastic spudger to pry out the PCBA at its lower right corner. Use the opening card to remove the thermal adhesive from the PCBA and front cover assembly. Use lint-free cloth dipped in alcohol to remove the residual adhesive. Apply around 70 mg of the Gel 30 thermal adhesive in the adhesive area on the front cover assembly. Check that the springs and QR code label on the PCBA are free of cosmetic defects. Slightly bend the LCD FPC, main FPC, and fingerprint sensor FPC. Tilt and insert the top of the PCBA in the front cover assembly. Align the PCBA with the locating pins. Press the PCBA in place and fasten the snap fits. Remove the foam from the front camera. Install the front camera and rear cameras on the PCBA
and then fasten the main FPC B2B connector, LCD FPC B2B connector, fingerprint sensor FPC B2B connector, battery B2B connector. Fasten the new coaxial cable on the subboard and PCBA. Fit the coaxial cable in the groove. Remove the release film from the adhesive on the PCBA support. Tilt and insert the top of the PCBA support in the front cover assembly and fasten the snap fit. Press the support to activate the adhesive. Fasten the snap fits on both sides of the support. Press the remaining part of the support to activate the adhesive. Ensure that the support is properly installed on the front cover assembly. Use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten 19 screws. Attach a warranty sticker to the specified screw. The PCBA is now properly replaced. Remove all screws. Remove the PCBA support. Unfasten the battery B2B connector. Use plastic tweezers to remove the coaxial cable. Use plastic spudger to pry out the speaker at the position above the USB port. Remove the speaker slowly. Use the B2B connector removal tool to unfasten the main FPC B2B connector on the subboard. Use plastic spudger to pry out the subboard and then remove it. Check that the springs and rubber cover on the subboard are free of cosmetic defects. Insert the USB port in the front cover assembly. Align the subboard with the locating pin and fasten the snap fit on the top of the subboard. Fasten the main FPC B2B connector on the subboard. Align the speaker with the speaker holes. Tilt and insert the speaker in place. Install the new coaxial cable. Fasten the battery B2B connector. Install the new PCBA support. Use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten the 19 screws. The subboard is now properly replaced. Use metal tweezers to pry out the proximity light sensor at the instructed position and then remove it. Remove the adhesive from the slot. Use lint-free cloth dipped in alcohol to remove the residual adhesive. Attach the proximity light sensor rubber cover adhesive to the slot. Align the proximity light sensor FBC adhesive with the two locating pins and attach it properly. Remove the two pieces of release films. Insert the proximity light sensor in the slot. Align its FBC with the locating pins and press it in place. Refer to Service Center Battery Replacement Video Tutorial 1 and remove the package film battery. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws from the fingerprint sensor support. Pull up the fingerprint sensor FBC to separate it. Use metal tweezers to remove the fingerprint sensor support. Push the fingerprint sensor out of the slot. Remove the fingerprint sensor FPC. Remove the adhesive from the fingerprint sensor FPC slot using a piece of lint-free cloth. Insert a tip of the metal tweezers in the bottom of the side button slot. Pry out the side button support and remove it. Push out the volume button. Use metal tweezers to separate the side button FPC pad. Separate the side button stiffener. Then remove the whole side button FPC. Remove the residual adhesive. Remove the release film from the new side button FPC. Insert the FPC in the slot. Align the side button FPC pad with the slot in the front cover assembly and attach it properly. Attach the FPC stiffener to the front cover assembly. Press the FPC to activate the adhesive. 
The side button FPC is now properly installed. Insert the volume button in the slot. Press it to the bottom. And insert the side button support in place simultaneously. Check that the button tactile feeling is normal. Attach the fingerprint sensor FPC adhesive to the slot. Take a new fingerprint sensor module. Pull the fingerprint sensor FPC through the opening on the front cover assembly. Press the fingerprint sensor in place. Insert the fingerprint sensor support in the slot. Tighten the two screws on it. Remove the release film from the adhesive. Align the fingerprint sensor FPC with the slot and attach it properly. Press the FPC to activate the adhesive. Refer to Service Center Battery Replacement Video Tutorial 1. Install the battery properly. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the 19 screws. Remove the PCBA support, coaxial cable, PCBA, speaker, USB subboard. Take a new front cover assembly. Install the USB subboard, speaker, PCBA, front camera and rear cameras. Coaxial cable. Remove the release film from the new PCBA support. Insert the top of the support in place and fasten the snap fits. Fasten the snap fits on both sides from top to bottom. Press the support to activate the adhesive. Ensure that the support is properly installed. Use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten the 19 screws. The front cover assembly is now properly replaced. Remove the release film from the frame adhesive. Align the holes on the adhesive with the adhesive attachment fixture. Fix the adhesive on the fixture properly. Attach the vacuum cup to the surface of the rear cover. Align the rear cover with the locating pins on the top and right sides. Press the rear cover against the adhesive. Press your fingers against the rear cover to fix the adhesive. Remove the release film from the adhesive on the rear cover. Remove the foams from the rear cameras. Align the upper left corner of the rear cover with the front cover assembly. Install the rear cover and press the edges from top to bottom. Place the phone in the press fitting base mold in the correct direction with the TP facing down. Place the base mold in the middle of the press fitting platform. Press the handle to its furthest extent. When the alarm rings, unlock the handle and take out the phone. Insert the SIM card tray in the phone. Check that the phone can start up properly. This is the end of the video tutorial. Thanks for watching.